Hey guys, and welcome to a brand spanking new episode of the Father Gamer Podcast. It's been a very long time. It's been a very, very long time, and and I'm I'm very sorry. Uh, unfortunately, life has been crazy. I I decided to let the world know that I'm actually working on a game, and that's been taking a lot of time. Uh, strangely enough, game development is actually a time consuming process. The good thing is uh, we are moving into a into a next unit in the evolution of this uh, t- that lets me uh, do Father Gamer uh, the way it's supposed to be. And it's really cool. Like, we've got the team ready to go. We're doing tons of recording as far as podcasts, and we're recording lots of gameplay. We're, we're streaming. All that stuff is going to be coming at you. Actually, if you go to YouTube right now, the Father Gamer podcast on YouTube, we've got we've got little clips, uh, some funny stuff of us playing on. Uh, right now, we've been playing Grand Theft Auto uh, online. We're going to be playing lots of games. We've got a very special game in a few months that we can't talk about. That really excited. Uh, it's. It's kind of a, a dream come true for a couple of guys on the on the group, and uh, I'm very excited to be working with with a company that's it's near and dear to my heart. So we're we are going to be showing off a really cool game. I'm so excited! Uh, we've got wow, wow, we've got lots of stuff coming, and uh, so I'm glad you guys that that have listened before have have stuck around and. Um, like I said, it's been a crazy, it's been a crazy, like, last several months. I mean, it's been months since we've had a new episode. Unfortunately, we've had everything from a hurricane. My God, like, what the heck's the weather this year? Well, last year now. What, what, what is wrong with it? Um, we had, we, well, I had several illnesses, which, you know, go figure. <laughs> this is with me. And just... I had to move, I had flooding and tons of stuff. It was just, it was just crazy. And, and there's one thing that happens when, when your life goes crazy. There's everything from depression to, to whatnot. And sometimes a podcast just kind of is the bottom of your list. But the thing is, I love doing this podcast. I love talking to you guys. I love, I love just talking to other game developers. I, I love this platform that I have and there's still so many of you that listen and, and we seem to every episode, no matter how far apart it is, we pick up new listeners and I'm so thankful for, for you guys. And uh, there's something big happening. It's, uh, you know, I, I can talk about it now. Um, as, as you guys know, I, I, well, a lot of you know, I am a very fluffy individual. I'm, I'm on the larger side of life, and uh, you know, I'm diabetic, and it, it's been a big issue, and uh, I have been approved. I am getting a uh, gastric sleeve. I am getting weight loss surgery, and it is a, it is a big deal. It is a life-changing deal. It will change so much about my life, and I'm excited. On top of that... I you know, naturally I love exercising. I love that kind of stuff, and I'll be back in the gym, and I'm going to be eating differently, and I, and I want to talk to you guys about you know your experiences with weight loss and with uh, getting healthy, and that's going to be a big deal moving forward for the show and for us is talking about stuff like that off and on, and and uh, look for Father Gamer podcast uh i'm gonna start a vlog very soon we, we've already get we're getting everything set up so you can see me shrink do, 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 do. like you know reverse mario type thing going on and um so again everybody thank you for listening in this episode we are going to be talking about our favorite things of 2017 some of them not everything it's very conversational Uh, just to get the ball rolling again, because it's been so long, we just kind of wanted to sit around and talk and, and, uh, discuss some of our favorite things of 2017. The very next episode, probably, oh, we also talk about the Nintendo uh, Labo. It just kind of came up and, and, uh, because I mean, it literally just came on when we were, we were talking about, we were recording this episode. Uh, the, 
other thing is there are little segments that we recorded to try to get the ball rolling during the last few months. Uh, there's actually a couple of interviews. I feel so bad about it, but you know, just did not, I, I could not get the show going. So the very next episode, which will come out really close to this one is more of a smorgasbord of clips and discussions and you know, I just, I just didn't want them to just disappear, become vaporware, as it were. And uh, so, look for that very soon after this uh, this episode posts. And in the coming months, uh, we have interviews, we have tons and tons of game coverage, movie coverage. Uh, we'll talk about anything geeky, nerdy, you know, just that fandom in general. So guys, sit back, relax, or start your treadmill, whatever you want to do, and listen to a brand new episode of the Father Gamer Podcast. Welcome to the Father Gamer Podcast. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of the Father Gamer Podcast. This is your host, Eric Gibbs, the Father Gamer. With me, we have Kyle. Yellow. A yellow, I like that. And then we've got Ransom. What's up? And we've got Mike. Hey guys. As he, Mike's taking the nap. He's, he's lounging like, he's, he's like, like a like, Greek. Yeah, like, 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 a, like a, a Greek, Greek aristocrat. Just laying there waiting for Where his... Where's my grapes? Yes, yeah, I'll oh, give you God. grapes in a minute. So, guys, 2017 is over. Mm-hmm. It's dead. It's buried. It's 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 old hat, as it were. Hmm. But I think we should talk about it because we haven't done that yet, and uh, everyone else does it. And uh, I frankly would jump off a bridge if everyone else was. <laughs> so, 2017 had some great movies, some not some great movies, some great games, TV shows, awesome. Nerdy, geeky, fun stuff that we all loved, and uh, we're going to talk about it in this episode. So, I guess we should start, since this is the Father Gamer Podcast, I think we should start with, of course, movies. No. Uh, we'll, start with, we'll, we'll start with games. Uh, what were some of your favorite games of 2017? I, I know, personally, everyone in the group, pretty much Zelda's one of them. Yeah, Breath of the Wild, definitely. I mean... I, mean, I don't own a Switch, but uh, it's sure. definitely very beautiful. It is. It and is. also one Game of the Year. It yeah. is Game of the Year pretty much everywhere. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It's still... like You know how you'll play those games where you're like, oh, I love this game, I love this game, and then like a couple months later you're kind of like, it's okay. Why am I playing this game? Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like I. I still. It still holds up. Mm-hmm. I, oh, I still feel like it's 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 deserving of being, if not game of the year, at least in the top like two or three games of the mm-hmm. year. Um, who who all got to play the game in the group? I I got to play. Uh, I never beat it, mm-hmm. but Same. I played like ten hours of it or something. I played nice. like. All the way up to Ganon. For some reason, never got to go to Ganon, or I never did. I just kept doing other stuff. Yeah, I got, I got, I got right up to Ganon. I did everything else. I got like eighty percent of those stupid little uh, nut dudes. <laughs> the nut dude. I always did the guy. What are they called? Uh, Kura. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got like, I like, like Jets and nut guys. Yeah, they're nut guys. Hey guys, let me get out. They're nuts. Anyway. Let me take your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, are you that, talking about the leaf people? Yeah. yeah see, yeah. see, yeah. see. <laughs> you said the nut guys. That's see, on okay, you. Okay, <laughs> I cannot for the life of me. I love, I love sci-fi. I love fantasy. I love all that stuff. I am never going to remember the names of like ninety percent of the <laughs> stupid things. <laughs> that that so they they become they I almost become my grandparents in that the category where everything you have to describe it by oh you know the guy that wears the hat you know like that's basically what they become to me so yes they're the nut guys or the leaf guys they give you seeds they give you seeds <laughs> oh yeah they're from Wind Waker also right I don't, I don't fucking remember. I don't I think they're in Wind Waker they might be like some kind of 
first year character somewhere in the in the thing, but I don't know. But it, I've I've played every Zelda game. I just don't remember. Remember? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's um, a lot. There's a lot, and and this that's the cool <laughs> thing though about uh, about this game though is there is a huge like there is a, a there's so many Zelda games. And this still felt fresh. It felt different. It didn't... But oh, then it did feel the, like... The new, it's probably the freshest feeling Zelda game. Yeah, especially... Well, it's pretty much... The since la- Wind Waker, I would say. Since Wind Waker, actually. Ocarina was like... When it came out, it was so different. Oh, yeah. I mean, and then, and like... Then, and then Wind Waker was probably the next evolution in that. Mm-hmm. But this... Breath of the Wild was just... It was just Breath awesome. Fresh air. Yeah, it is. And then the whole... this. This thing of like, okay, we it was a brilliant, but they had to do it to uh, uh, thing on Nintendo by putting it out at the same time at launch. Yeah, because one of the best launch titles, pretty much. Oh yeah, definitely. And definitely. And, and and then you quickly realize how important that feature of playing it on your TV, but taking it with, with you, you, be yeah, the yeah, portable yeah. nature of the Switch. You realize that so quick because of that game, and uh, and I know see, right now, unfortunately, I don't have a Switch anymore. But I know a lot of people that have gotten Switches over the over the year, and seeing them play stuff like you know Skyrim and all that kind of stuff, they don't want to play it any other way. That's like any RPG, anything long. In, in long form like that, they seem to want to play mobile on the Switch and mobile. Yeah, because I don't. I think ninety percent of the time I played mobile. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kyle, how about you? Did you? Uh, it was is divided. Was it? So definitely, I would say that would be on everyone's list at least, if not the top of the list. <clears throat> uh, I know uh, Ransom. What, what was one of your? games this year oh one of my games this year mm-hmm. um so probably destiny 2 that's the probably the one that surprised me the most and how good it was because i was a person who didn't really like the first destiny it, at it, all i'm reversed and so is i think eric well no okay no 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 Des- <laughs> destiny is weird for me like i i like destiny and when i played destiny i really like destiny oh the second one's better than the first oh one. definitely it's i think the second one's better than the first i i think mm. they laid they laid the groundwork for something really great. Yeah, no, definitely. That vanilla launch. Now, I yeah. will say that the yeah. story is, like, pretty shitty. Yeah. And the dialogue is pretty still, fucking bad. Still but better it's, than but vanilla it's still, first. But it's still, like, I... It's some of the best gunplay that I've played in a shooter in a while. There's a lot of... In the last, in the last ten years, this has become more and more apparent with games. And now that we have stuff like... Uh, you know the Steam Greenlight and mm-hmm. uh, the Alpha State games. Uh, basically, I'm so sick of it. I'm so uh, sick now of that it. we have that, uh, and it's part of the ecosystem of gaming. Um, there's a lot more forgiveness for bugs and all that kind of stuff. I mean, good God, I can't <laughs> think of before this became apparent that this was going to be the way gaming is going. Um, I don't know. Yeah. It was kind of like Beth- this Bethesda, with, Bethesda, with Bethesda yeah. games, yeah, like Skyrim Game of the Year. But good God, so many. But like okay, or or like uh, Fallout VR. Yeah, fall- that's a cool, oh my gosh, I've a, seen videos on that. That's a great hilarious. example. Fallout VR is a great example of 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 being able to get past the shitty to <laughs> to to get to the the nutty nougat center. But yeah, as but it were. <laughs> like I also think that yeah. Fallout VR is probably one of the most egregious offenders because like yeah. it is straight up broken. What what? It, it, yeah, and, and and it was at launch, the resolution was so bad that because they all apparently all of the testers were testing on high-end units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so when people got their TV, when they got the game at mm-hmm. launch, the resolution on the actual uh, headset headset was at a really low, like, oh my god, my vision is going level. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. And even after that, I think they the texturing it. on the, like weapons oh, oh, is still really shitty. Well, they they had weapons that would <laughs> they would basically fall apart in oh, yeah, hand into and their float. different pieces. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so, but you know, going back, <laughs> uh, Destiny 
doesn't really have that. Mm-mm, no, I wouldn't. Yeah. So, so really, it's it's such a polished game to have something that big and that polished mm-hmm. is nice. Like it does, you can look past the story a little bit. Yeah, you can yeah. look past the stuff. And well, the fact and that also it's like, get, get, the gunplay is so amazing in Destiny. Yeah, it, it, like the game is so good that it doesn't really bother me that the story is not that great. Right. And like, in in the first one, I never really cared about the story. So going to the second one, I wasn't like on the edge of my seat going like, oh, what are they going to do now? I was just like... My biggest problem with Destiny, and I think you guys can, can back me up on this, is... The worth of the items and the loot of of what it it means to you mm-hmm. has dropped because they change it so much. Because you'll yeah. work really hard for this armor, like you'll spend fifty hours getting through all this stuff, getting to the raid, getting the armor, and then the next update, the armor is useless. So I'm mm-hmm. not that high of a level yet. Do, mm-hmm. Is that does that stick even with really higher level stuff? It's I don't know. Kyle's higher than we are. Do, do, I'm do you feel that way? I'm max. But do you feel that way though? Um, like, well, don't get too attached you, to right anything. Right now, I do upon peeling of looks. Also, of course, their abilities and stuff. <sighs> yes and no. I have two sets of really what I mess with. So it, it's more or less what you look into going into PVE and PVP right. portion. Outside of that, they haven't like gone into tow like they did with the first one. Every update, there's new sets of armor. Like yeah, the only one that they've done recently has just been with trials of Os- or not trials, but the Osiris stuff. Yeah, I just, I just, I, 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 I want something permanent. Uh, you know, in that world, I want something that goes. This doesn't change, or I can, I, I can. I, I don't know. I'm one of those people with gaming. I like to have trophies, as it were. You know, like, you know, maybe if I take out such and such raid, mm-hmm. there's something that becomes permanent in my in my character. Like, I mean, even even if it's just like I have a little house or something. It's like, okay, here's the freaking like Witcher Ooh. when you cut off the head of something and you get to like carry it around. Your, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I want trophies saying I fucking did this. I worked this hard to do yeah. this. Well, As a group, we did this. Like I want that more. So I. Yeah, I mean, I sat there and I platinum Destiny two. I'm freaking like one trophy away or two trophies away. You have to away. do it's the yeah. nightfall. Yeah, I think I'm one, trof- I'm one trophy away. I know exactly which one you're on. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, I've kept okay. There's some weapons that I switch around, but my primary I always stick with Ghost Primus because that mofo is still just so fun to use. I mean, I, I okay. So there are some that stick. That's nice. another thing is weapons feel very different in how they handle. They do, and different. that's that's great. That's great design. That is as fantastic design as far as that stuff goes. I think it's just I want to feel. I wants to feel. I wants to feel permanent. I want you know. I want something yeah, you to want, feel you want to, tangible like, and permanent in that world. You want to have like a relationship with your 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 weapon. Or yeah, because well, you, know, you like, don't really have one with the character because the character is just. He doesn't even speak. Well, that's yeah. okay. <laughs> the weapons I can't much say for, but they're also like your armor is what speaks to you. If if they did that tangible, all that stuff that you're talking about, sixty percent of the people are going to look the same. I understand, yeah. and I understand that's that. what they're trying to avoid. So let's move on. We've kind of been on Destiny too long. Uh, uh, Destiny too long. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Persona. I'm not drunk enough yet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Persona Five was Five was one of mine. I was I think I'm mm-hmm. the only one in the entire group that played Persona played it, Five. Yeah, probably as someone who's played a billion. I mean, quite literally, honestly. I'm using that word correctly. I know I am. <laughs> uh, you know, a, well. a ton of JRPGs. I love JRPGs. They're one of my staples of my gaming diet. Um, it is unequivocally one of the best that I've ever played. Like it's mm-hmm. it it yes, it follows some of the tropes, you know, and all that kind of stuff of uh, that kind of stuff. But um, you know, when you play something over a hundred plus hours and mm-hmm. and it still holds you, that's obviously a good game. And it, i I really enjoyed Persona Five and 
I, I'm hoping people out there that like JRPGs will, that haven't played will eventually get to sink their teeth into mm-hmm. it because it was, it was really good. So, um, Mike, what was one of your favorite games? Uh, while I still had it, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. Well, it still was one of your favorite games, whether yeah, you had it or it's not. It's one of the best games. <laughs> now I hate it. <laughs> now I hate it. Now that I don't own it. Um, that was a very polished game as well. Yes. <clears throat> actually, that was one of the games that I agree with you this year, uh, Zelda being one, too, that for how big a scope it was and how mm-hmm. much you do, it could have had so many glitches and so yeah. many issues. And I think I didn't... I, I, don't, yeah, I didn't I don't come across really any. And I think I ran into one, and it was like some water texture, and that was it. That was it. In, in such a great, polished game coming out, and and the character uh, Alo, Alo, Aloy, Aloy is such a great character. Alloy, yeah, Alloy. <laughs> um, is is such a aluminium. Um, is such a is such a <laughs> is such a great character that uh, I mean, she's 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 very multi dimensional. Like you 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 don't. Yeah, they could have run into okay. She's just some badass action hero. She mm-hmm. could have Laura Croft. They yeah, Laura Croft. Like, 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 well, even Laura Croft though is pretty. I know, the, the but that's like old Laura. Old Laura. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. like she's one dimensional. They could have over sexualized her. They could have done. Yeah. They could have done so so much wrong with that character, mm-hmm. but they didn't. And then mm-hmm. the, the the play mechanics the, is just so much fun in that game. Just sneaking around. The I found originality. My... Oh yeah. Stuff. Yeah. And I just found myself sneaking around, and and and, and that's Killzone creator, by the way. It is. People thought Killzone was awful, and they turned around and fucking. Mm. Well, the, the most recent Killzone was fucking awful. Uh, but I every mean, other, you know, the other ones I enjoy. Oh no, but, I love Killzone. Yeah, that's what made me so sad. I still love uh, Killzone multiplayer. Multiplayer was one of my favorite. Oh, that, I think it's one of the best just, multiplayers. Yeah. Like, I think it beats the pants off of like Call of Duty or back in. I just well, see so much... if we're talking about that, it's Call of Duty when Killzone was first coming up and whatnot. Killzone was PS2, and so you had the Xbox. PS2. So is uh, no first Killzone was PlayStation. Yeah. No, 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 no. But yeah, I'm but the, 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 the good really multiplayer. The good well, multiplayer I, well I'm, what I'm trying to say, yes, it's PS3, yeah. but at that point, its only other opposition was Halo. Yeah, yeah, and it it, mm-hmm. it has it's almost like a cross between Halo and, and, Call, of and Call of Duty, and yeah. and and. Is, is, as a game developer myself, um, there's certain things you look at and you learn from. And one of them, one of the things I learned from Killzone, uh, getting off of everything for a second, uh, that chirp when you kill somebody. Oh yeah, to... that Pavlovian response from that point on is you like you hit that you, you hear that sound and, and you like, know to move. Oh on. yeah, 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 yeah. And that and I I, I don't <laughs> see that in other games mm-hmm. like. <clears throat> I would really love that in like a Call of Duty or something when you know that okay that person's dead now like yeah. you know it when you see it at the bottom of the screen but to hear that sound and you don't have to think about it like well, I think a lot of games they do a thing where like your reticle becomes red when you yeah them, right? yeah but I count that sound is just like yeah no it's somebody I, I, who's I very like sound that. oriented there is like, yeah yeah I think but that's cool. yeah. going back to Horizon it's just it's just so much fun and I really enjoyed it and I can't. I can't wait for more uh, that, in that world. Hopefully they continue that. I think There's they no will. Way. I mean, but they I had mean, the DLC. I didn't play that yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was it the Winterlands or something like that. I can't remember the name of the DLC. But, uh, yeah. Uh, how about you, Ransom? Another? Uh, uh, so another one, I'm going to kind of switch it up to. Actually, no, Kyle. Was <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm say, just happy to be here. Kyle was on his phone. I thought he was oh, doing cause something. Of, oh no, because I was oh, like yeah. looking because I forgot a name for a second. Okay. Um, my personal favorite mm-hmm. is Assassin's Creed Origins. I know. Nice. Yeah. F- fucking addicting. I, I, me. You never played any of that. I, I, never, I never saw not. you on. Never. Ever. I just watched At it all. and I was like, "That's my favorite game." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the title and was bam. That's it. That's it. That's the one. That's, that's game of the year. <laughs> right there. So <laughs> just like you look at Mass Effect Andromeda, bam, it's gonna be oh, great. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, oh, we'll get into oh, exactly. We'll get into that. We'll get back I'm just to saying. about glitches. Yeah, well, exactly. Um, um, so okay. So what's your favorite Assassin's Creed other than this one? 
Brotherhood and four. Okay. Black Flag. Black Flag. Uh, so so Brotherhood and Black Flag and yes. uh, two. Do you like two? Well, two. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just yeah. Ezio's like except for Revelations. That one's okay. Yeah, it's okay. But, but just his saga. So, so Liberations, yeah. guys. Yeah. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> <laughs> so so how would you compare this to other Call of Duty? Oh. I mean, other Call of Duty. Assassin's Creed. No, how would you? <laughs> yeah, how would you compare this to all the other Call of Duty? <laughs> Considering there's no guns, <laughs> uh, it's completely different. So it's terrible. <laughs> so it's totally terrible. Okay, so yet it's still Assassin's Creed. They take it from the ground up, and at least again they start an origin story that you follow a magi. This has nothing to do with the assassins right off the bat, like nothing at all. You start just pissed, pretty much. Like <laughs> okay. That's nothing new. Someone's pissed in an Assassin's Creed game anyway. Right, pretty much. It's half of, <laughs> half but of those games. But you don't start with any Assassin equipment. Nothing. You work your way into it. But I have the feel of, like, it's fucking massive of a game. Like, I'm talking Witcher 3 big. I'm mm-hmm. talking, like, it's gigantic. <clears throat> uh, it's got, I wouldn't say as difficult as dark souls combat but the difficulty like you're not going to counter moves you have to specifically know which way yeah. you're going so it's not like the See, the, ba- the batman like yes, arkham kind correct. of correct it's it not the seo kind of, sit there and all yeah, you have to do is sit there and counter. axe and counter yeah okay. yeah it's, you, you were speaking about the map being as big as witcher 3 and i think I've never played the game, but from what I have seen of gameplay, it looks like they took a lot of cues from like games like Witcher. Oh 3. no, of course they did, and it's and like, like that's really fresh because a problem I had with Assassin's Creed, like all the whole series, is like a lot of the games were really samey, except Black Flag. I, mm-hmm. That's where they like kind of varied it up. Mm-hmm. Black well, see, that's so where good. there was always <clears throat> okay. So in Assassin's Creed, there's always been that polished fucking fresh game two came because of one you got a fresh one because it opened it up yeah um brotherhood again from there just by continuing Ezio, and then they had more stuff to do like your own assassins organization stuff like that um black flag came from assassin's creed 3 now assassin's creed 3 is not my worst but i can understand people's frustrations the ending is awful yeah. But they took Black for Lag from how popular the shit part was. Yeah. Like, yeah. that alone, like, that part people loved playing. And of course, they, they, it also reminded me of Wind Waker. Because well, like, true. Yeah, yeah I can and see And that. I love Wind Waker. Uh, it's <laughs> really, I haven't. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Um, Origins, not more or less, came from yeah, Unity. I wouldn't even fucking know. Uh, <laughs> the Glitch City. It came from those style of games of let's see what we can do, make it gigantic, like, and make it an RPG relevant. Yeah, it felt a lot more RPG. You, you can like. build weapons and stuff in this one, right? Yes, yeah. you, you can. You can buy them. You can find them. You can or build. Them. I can't remember if you can build them or not, uh, but you find them and whatnot. Just, just a segue for a second. Uh, I, I remember seeing somebody made a meme about uh, Horizon, speaking of building weapons and arrows and stuff, uh, that you could build weapons in Horizon and they wouldn't break and they were making fun of, uh, when, of Breath of Breath the Wild. Wild. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's no breaking weapons in this one, is there? No. Okay, thank God. No, there's yeah, no breaking I, weapons. That's the only thing I was like, really? It's kind of annoying dealing with in Breath of the Wild. Well, when, when, when you're freaking like badass, like the, you know, Master Sword breaks or something like that. Yeah, You're like, like what the on. hell? Well, in this, weapons don't break. Technically, yes, you build, but you get crafting components and you build your, like, Assassin's Blade to be stronger and stronger and stronger. That's yeah. about the only... So very RPG with that's that. That's the only yeah. build you upgrade. Thing. Yeah. yeah, so that's yeah. the only building technically. So how's the story? Okay, I can understand where some people I've talked to get kind of confused. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing about a story. Do you want to know everything right off the bat and just fucking... You know everything right uh, now. How people acted about Star Wars? Apparently so. People do <laughs> want to know everything right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like... I, I like not super drawn out, 
but a story that progresses and makes sense. Right. Ezio started out with revenge, same thing revenge, except you understand why. And then him, I don't want to give away a character, but of course he has a wife. Yeah. Outside of that, and how they that, develop that. together, and how I know I won't say that. Well, how, I mean, there's there's usually only three motivations to make people kill: money, power, or revenge. Family. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So, and it's true, but his is also the rule. Like the role of the Medjai is the protector of the people. Mm-hmm. So they got. Mini missions all over the day, map and whatnot. Are they a lot of fetch stuff at first? Or not is... really. Okay. Like there are some fetch stuff, but it's like, go kill this person. Hey, can you help me with this? Uh, this is not there's like... a massive army of hippopotamuses coming my way. Can <laughs> you fuck them up? Are they? Would it be hippopotami? I mean, it's just I'm curious. I don't fucking I'm... know. Nabubians. Nabubians. <laughs> Anywho, they've got a bunch of different things. Uh, mm. You don't want to go into an area where, say, you're level twelve and these things are level fifteen. Thinking, mm-hmm. okay, so you it's do, only do you, a... you do see their level, level. Oh, they'll fuck you up two levels higher. Than and that's that. that's okay. the thing I always appreciate in games. And Witcher did this, Breath of the Wild did this. Mm-hmm. Is like it opens like everything you can take on if you want, uh-huh. but that doesn't mean it's a good idea. They right. will fuck even Final you Fantasy, up. Fantasy, the the uh, the what's the like? Yeah, even fifteen uh, has that in some of the areas. Like you, you don't go. Oh, in Final certain... Fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you play don't. That game, yeah, yeah, you don't. You don't go in a certain area. Like, two ahead, yes, they can fuck you up. Yes, you can semi-take, depending. See, at that point, you want a exotic weapon that has some abilities to them, like catching people on fire or whatnot. Mm-hmm. That kind of helps. But they will hit hard. So, I also like how they have glitches in their system. Mm-hmm. And you can get exotic armor of Anubis. <laughs> oh, cool. You get to fight the Egyptian gods. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's pretty freaking cool. That's cool. Uh, so, so you enjoyed it, obviously. I fucking love the shit out of so, it. So, and I'm, I'm gonna, you were nice enough to let me borrow it. Of so course. I will talk about it a little bit on the next episode. So, um, I think one of the next games three of us played, and I know. Ransom wants to play uh, Sniper Elite 4 was one oh, of my yeah, favorite games. Yes. Oh, that came out this year? Yep. yep. Oh, okay. Well, last year. That was that was one of those. Well, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely, <laughs> God. Definitely. God. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Literal. Yeah. <laughs> uh so Oh man, yes, that game is awesome. That that game it it I did not play enough of it. I I beat the shit out of it. I did not like I I haven't really played uh much of the the rest of the series and mm-hmm. uh I I was lucky enough to play a little bit of it at E3 before and realized okay this game is actually pretty badass and yeah. and so it wasn't like sniping Nazis yeah exactly killing Nazis and shooting them in the testicles is always really <laughs> yeah cool. American pastime like know? we we uh, I I really loved when uh, Kyle or, or Mike is it's two player uh, through co op co op co op through story and through story four, through and and, and we would sit there and it, it reminded me of like being at the driving range for like golf. Just okay. See that Nazi? Uh, he's about such and such yards away. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him in the nuts. Uh, <laughs> or let's see which one of us can shoot him in the nuts first. Fuck his face up. Yes, and and it just became that. Like, oh, he you know, needs a dentist real bad. Yeah, like it, <laughs> and the X-ray cam on that. So good. It's so good. It's it's, it's a lot of fun. It is very satisfying to the Sniper Elite series. It, and yeah, not yeah. anymore. Not anymore, but it was. Originally. Yeah, it was the calling card. And it's it's so much fun. Like it's just fun. And it's and it's one of those things like when we did uh uh group stuff together or we did the what was the timed missions that we had to do with some of the DLC to get through certain areas. Oh, oh. Like the it's like point. one is up top sniping the, Overwatch. the other. Overwatch is what it's called. Overwatch is actually fucking awesome. So so Kyle would be up top the sniper, sniping, and I would be down below, uh, and he would With tell me. infantry right Yeah, there. yeah, yeah and he's yeah. trying to yeah. tell me where to go, and I was like, okay, go, go, no, 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 no. Like, you know how we are when yeah, we play yeah, games. Yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of yelling. Yeah. And it, it was just so much fun, and it kind of came out of left field as far as, like, I mean, I, we like war games. I yeah. mean, we play, you know, Battlefield and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but 
to have two games on this list that we get to kill Nazis was mm-hmm. just amazing this year. And there's three good games this year that yeah. we get to kill Nazis. Yeah. Yes. So the next game on that list would be Call of Duty. Yes. And uh, World War II, we played the hell out of Call yeah, of Duty. Uh, which Call of Duty was I, awesome. I don't play a lot of Call of Duty normally. Like it's that's my first kind of old I hat. Did yeah, play. and I, the future warfare stuff I wasn't really a big fan of. And uh, it back, goes back to the aesthetic thing. Pretty much all I would do was make really really cool looking guns and and paint them. And that was <laughs> right. That was the most fun I had in those games. <laughs> I like my emblem. My shovel. It's like gold. gold. My emblem. I, I made Wolverine. He oh, did make Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. I, I Wolverine. Absolutely loved World War Two, and the best thing about World it's, War Two so was war, yeah, was war mode and w- the glitches. Well, yeah, that did, did have <laughs> that just can be entertaining for. But any game. but the World War Two mode, which was basically really fast battlefield, right? That's that's the best way I can describe it. Is what it reminded me of is like really the really fast battlefield. Yeah, it's like it's it's sort of like a ten minute abs, but. <laughs> um, of of Call of Duty, but I I really enjoyed it and. I'm kind of excited to see more war mode. That's really yeah. that's what I want more of. Yeah, but the other the other the other multiplayer stuff was a lot of fun. Like I, I think Kyle and I probably played more of that separately. Um, the zombies is actually really he fun. loves zombies. Their yeah. zombies is actually boss. I, I, I gotta say something. I like zombies, but I get so lost in zombies for some reason. I because Kyle was like, okay, just come here. I was like, I don't know where you are. Like I just that sounds like theirs is actually games. legitly like their zombies are not goofy. They're meant no. for horror. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah it, no, that's what I like is uh, because I haven't played any uh, Call of Duty World War Two, but the it, the zombies look like a. Darker type, more they, horror. They're men type. for horror. Very dark. It's very <laughs> dark. And, then, and you, you have uh, uh, what's his name doing the voice? Uh, uh, Doctor Who dude is one of the voices. Oh, David uh, yeah. Tennant. David Tennant. Yeah, it's it, it is. There is some glitches and stuff, but it still is pretty pretty well polished. Mm-hmm. The, yeah. the 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 campaign is actually actually really good yeah it's really fun um it's one of the better ones like i said for a long it just time. felt fresh which mm-hmm. is really weird since it was there's nice so many art there's so many world war ii games well mm-hmm. it's, well not, anymore. Call it, not anymore okay, yeah. call of duty in general but it was just nice to have boots on the ground yeah again not futuristic just straight up this is what you got mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah yeah and it did talk about the horrors of war mm-hmm. a little bit yeah. and it uh which is that is something really hard to talk about with gaming. Because it's like, yeah, I'm making this entire game about killing people. And, you know, we're going to sit around and make fun and teabag each other. That's why Modern Warfare <laughs> 2 pissed me off so much. Because Modern Warfare 1 was very much like, uh, yeah. this is the horrors of war. It wasn't really ridiculous. It was like kind of action movie, but it's a video game. So, yeah, right. But it, it did have a clear like anti-war message. And then uh, Modern Warfare 2 was just like... Fuck action up. movie fuck like yeah. do this mm-hmm. snowmobile jump over this huge ravine that wouldn't make any sense and dual wielding uzis and yeah well, i and, now and, understand and, that's, and that, there's a dichotomy to that though like like so quick tavish what tom cruise what <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a dichotomy to that though like like should it be more jokey or should it be more real like mm-hmm. it's kind of one of those weird like places and, and yeah. that kind of stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. uh but I think, for the most part, they did a respectable enough job with, oh, with yeah. this. And they had like dismembered body parts. And oh, stuff. it was it like was, slowly bleeding out people. And it, you know what? We all learned. If you played War, you all learned the the, the <laughs> bitch fest that is uh, storming the beach. Like, oh yeah, gosh, yeah. there's yeah. a lot of bitching. Yeah, Neptune, yeah. Which, which, Operation Neptune. Which, okay, this is this is a little downer, but not really. But this is this reminds me of like my grandfather. He was in uh, World War Two. He actually talked about storming beaches, mm-hmm. and it's just like there was a few moments where I was like, "Oh my god, how the heck did you survive? How the heck did you survive?" Especially when uh, you know, dumb cat sixty nine keeps sniping me <laughs> from the freaking <laughs> like that's my he had to find his snipers. own dumb cat sixty nine, but he was really, really shooting at him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, it's <laughs> it, it's such a good game, and the next game in the World War Two genre this year is Wolfenstein. And you played that? 
Fuck yeah, I did. Yeah, you loved it. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I didn't get to play it this year, but I just didn't. It is awesome. Last year. Yeah. Awesome. I love the rest of the other It ones. continues from That's the what? new order. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the new order. And, oh my gosh, it's just fucking go, go, go. I forget what this is called. This Wolfenstein the new Colossus, the new, new Colossus. Colossus. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's magnificent. It's fast paced like the other ones. If you feel like you like Doom, that fa- oh gosh, mm. but just throw Nazis instead of demons and psychedelics yeah. is for my understanding. Oh yeah. Well, I, I played a little bit of uh, an area where you're in a wheelchair, and that was mm. it was funny. That was funny. But, and that does. That is one of those things where it does have to you almost have to inject that humor though like yeah. it's otherwise yeah but so also slow. like theirs is over the top that's Wolfenstein not is just yeah. like over the top yeah I'm no. drowning zombies in toilets I mean, also <laughs> it's kind of interesting because Wolfenstein also handles serious parts really well yes it yes. does so, so it, it, it was it was I loved it going through Shooting Nazis in the face with a tri shotgun that just rotates the barrel. <laughs> it's, it's completely on. Uh, it's on my. It's on my my list. Like in the immediate future, I've oh got. Oh my gotta gosh! Play it. It's it's fucking awesome. The assassinations of the targets that you need to get. Well, those to were the, always fun in the other ones. Yeah. Like the like it's I said, the drowning the US people and yeah. stuff. So there's a special character in there that it's really funny. Does it have the flashbacks? Uh, like to, it's got the old Wolfenstein. Right yeah, yeah. We would like go to bed and like go back and, and no, out. no, no, no. It's got the Wolfenstein arcade. It's Wolfenstein 3D. Oh, they have just an yeah, arcade cabinet yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, no, but the special character that's in there is an old person. Oh God. Well. I, the the whole the, uh, oh no the, oh. <laughs> Wait, I won't I won't break it for you guys no yeah, yeah I, I won't say anything because well, that'll ruin some fun yeah, when you watch the it, trailer yeah. when you watch the trailer I, 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 but that was terrifying just to yep. see that yeah and uh, what could have been what could have been hype. and uh, or the social issues that we're dealing with today we're dealing yeah with exactly yeah. yeah so I mean and that's a great thing about. Um, that's the great thing about entertainment. It has that ability to talk about stuff, but not in their visual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and gaming, gaming actually has it's done well. It's done well. Has the ability to do it. I think almost better than any other media. Oh, right? I totally agree. Medium because it it can make you feel like you're controlling that character. Well, you're controlling so, that character. It's also yeah. a longer experience exactly. than maybe a movie or something. Right. I'd say the only one that maybe can compete with video games as far as making you feel something or, like, sending a message is TV shows. Yeah, because they're like, long form. Yeah, they're yeah. long form, yeah. So, um, one of the games that I really liked this year was South Park. Did anyone else play it? I never played oh, South yeah. Park, sadly. Speaking of social... <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but done <laughs> hilarious. Oh yeah, like, well, any game that you have, uh, you deal with uh, uh, pedophiles and priesthood, and done the only way that <sighs> South Park can get away with. <laughs> I mean, there are moments that even I, I was like, and I, ass oh, cringing. Uh, yeah, I was oh, just wow, like, I'm not exactly the most politically correct person sometimes, but. There were moments I was just like, but it is that thing. South Park is one of those things that they get. They, people go, mm, okay, it's South Park. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. they've been doing other... it before any of the. And also, they're really... just so like viciously like stabbing and jabbing when it comes to like social. Like, it's yeah, everybody. It's the like they will, yeah. they will turn around and it's, it's it's kind of one of those you see a room full of like different people you know different socioeconomic different you know political like in a room and you can see them all chuckling and eventually one one of those people laughing is going to be like what the fuck Fuck. like they're going to be so pissed (laughs) but then they're like oh it's self Park." like it's it's kind of that that kind of thing and the game the gameplay is good yeah it's solid yeah um I do think I think the gameplay in the first game was maybe a little bit better, I, yeah, uh, a little more fine tuned. But I did like the gameplay, and uh, I the found jokes were still really I found well myself done. going around just fighting sometimes, mm-hmm. and that's always great in a role playing game. Like if you want to fight yeah, instead of yeah, just yeah. like getting to the next cutscene or getting the, um, it, it's it's incredibly well done. I thought I really enjoyed it this year. Uh, I think that'll probably be <laughs> it, other than the DLC. There. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I think that'll be he it. borrowed my copy. Uh, I think that'll probably be it, uh, except for the DLC. 
is is what I'm oh, guessing. Probably. I don't think there'll be another game. It's too. It's too. Hard. I don't know. I think there'd be one more if they're because they're really good about doing trilogy, especially episode wise. They do. Yeah, that's know, true. But if there is going to be another, we're not going to be seeing it for a, a little, long time. Bit. Yeah, no, well, this one took years. forever. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, the, the first next. one took the longest because it was supposed to be out forever before yeah. it came out. Well, if you think about it, the first one came out on like. 360 and PS3. Yeah. And, so well, and also this one had tons of delays too, though. Yeah. So it didn't have as much as the first one. Well, you also had new kind of ownership. You knew it, it switched over. Well, yeah, all that kind of stuff too. They the they were like, we're not putting this out until they saw yeah, it in the was, way they wanted. And it yeah. felt polished as well. Like it that's felt the, like that's that the was good what, thing this year. We actually had some really good polished yeah, games. Oh my twenty. <clears> so yeah, ransom. 16. Mm-hmm. You have another game for us? Yeah, um, it's a VR game, and this was kind of... I never heard anything about this game uh, until I was just, like, looking through all the sales during uh, or before Christmas, Mm -hmm. and it's a game called Megaton Rainfall. Have any of y'all ever heard of it? No. Okay, see? Yeah, this is, like... I've never heard of it until I, like, watched a video of it, Uh and... uh, it blew my fucking mind. It, like I said, it's a VR game, but it's like a Superman simulator all, almost. But basically, mm. the plot is is you were supposedly a human before, but this like god being comes down and bestows powers upon you because there's aliens that are called I forgot the dark ones or in the Mega Mind. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but this this alien bestows or god being bestows powers upon you. And you're supposed to defend the world. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, the whole world is built, and you can fly anywhere. Oh, that's cool. But, like, you fly where aliens are attacking, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, But you're just, like, this floating, like, spirit being. And the reason why it's called Megaton Rainfall is one of your your powers is called Megaton Blast. Mm -hmm. But the whole point of the game is that there's a casualty meter. Mm Mm-hmm. And if you miss the aliens and it hits a city, it will just level skyscrapers. And it, mm. it has a really, like, good-looking and visceral, like, destruction system close to, like, a battle battlefield mm-hmm. and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like Frostbite engine type Yeah, stuff. like Frostbite engine type stuff. And the aliens, you can, like, hit them and hit them and they'll soon be destroyed, but each of them have a red weak like weak spot that yeah. you can shoot. Are the aliens like like Godzilla size, or I mean, are they? Yeah, they're they're gigantic, okay. and they're they're varied. There's like this centipede alien that like drills into buildings and goes in and out of things, and there's like your normal looking like probe looking aliens that like you know shoot lasers. So, so up. like an Ultraman type. Character? Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And so, like I said, the the powers that you have, you can level cities. And like, just kill everyone and lose because of that. Because you, your casualty. There's ramifications. For yeah, there's ramifications. And this is all in VR too. Yeah, and so. this is all in VR. So you wow. have to like plan your shots. You can't just like spam shots, or you're going to end up like killing mm. everyone. And also, aliens attacking the city take away from your casualty meter. Yeah. And uh, it's really, really cool. Especially there's this one point. Oh, and another thing before I tell you about this other thing. Uh, it has the most visceral, like, they have sc- human scream audio. Like, you can just hear everyone screaming on the ground. Mm-hmm. And, like, if there is, like, destruction that happened at some point, you'll start seeing, like, sirens or hearing sirens and seeing police lights and everything, like, flashing over there. But it, they have this audio playing every time, like, a building is destroyed or, like, a laser hits a street. <laughs> or like aliens lift up a car or something. Mm, sounds like... Just like people like screaming, and I don't know. They got really good actors because it it really gets to you. Mm-hmm. But you get this this uh, one power called the Megaton uh, or Super Megaton Blast, and it's basically you charge both your hands and you shoot down, and it warns you the like the the God being warns you to not aim it towards the ground, or like bad things will happen. Well, I thought mm-hmm. I was going to be able to hit this one alien, and I shot my super megaton blast, and this alien, like, just jukes and moves, oh, and it no. hits the city, and then all of a sudden, you, it's not like a really big blast, but all this, 
all of a sudden the part where I hit the city recesses. Like, oh going, god! And then it just starts like <laughs> the circle the of recession start starts getting bigger and bigger, and you just see like skyscrapers collapsing wow. inward to that. Oh wow! And you're just watching your your casual TV <laughs> go down, and you're just hearing all these fucking screams and all these like destruction, and you're just like. Oh my uh, god, I did, I did that. <laughs> I did that. And I think uh, that's one and that's why I call it a, a Superman simulator yeah. kind which, of which by it, the way uh Kal-El Superman should have played that before he was in Man of Steel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But that that's what I'm saying because yeah. it's like Superman's that powerful to do all this. Right. Like at what point are you protecting the earth and at right. what point are you just destroying it, you yeah. know? And that's, that's that's actually really cool. Like yeah, idea. and so it was it was definitely the game probably out of this year that surprised me the most. And like, well, that that's the thing as 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 gamers, especially gamers that play a lot of video games and and kind of teetering on the press side too, is we're always looking for something different, something mm-hmm. that'll give you. And a new thrill, and it's always nice to see something actually fresh and different. Yeah, and we did get a little bit of that this year, which is mm-hmm. awesome. And, and the VR area is definitely probably one of the best places to do that. Oh no, know. definitely, definitely. So, uh, Mike, we got uh, Kyle. Do you have anything else? Another game, another game, another game. Well, there are plenty. Uh, maybe, maybe we should get on to like biggest disappointments. Yeah, well, one, 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 one thing, one, two, two things, right quick. Yakuza Zero, loved it. I, I got it as. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I played yeah. a little of that too. Um, that. And uh, there's another game that was kind of a surprise for me was uh, uh, Yonder. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, what one is that? That sounds it's, really familiar. It's an exploration game. There's no fighting whatsoever in the game. And you mean wander and not wander yonder wander <laughs> wander can rot. But yonder, was yonder yonder had um, uh, yonder was just really beautiful, and you did a lot of explorations at parts. It almost felt like Zelda, like uh, Breath of the Wild, those big open spaces, mm-hmm. and it kind of had a um, Harvest Moon kind of feel to it. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. Uh, you can actually go back and listen several episodes back, talk to the developer about yeah. it. Um, it. It was one of those games that I might not have wanted to pick up, and then I saw a trailer and was like, oh my god, I've got to talk. And then I played the game, and I was like, I've got to talk to the developer. Mm-hmm. And it was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Okay, so... I know one game that uh, Kyle and I played at played and was Cuphead. And, Woohoo! And, yeah, um, so happy. <laughs> okay, Cuphead isn't a game that I'm gonna go out and buy. Like it's just I don't like punishment. I uh, did. I, I know you did. I and thank you for <laughs> buying it and bringing it over and bringing the alcohol and the alcohol, which was much needed. But the thing it was awesome. It, the thing is, Cuphead is a beautiful game. It's the the animation. Uh, it's all it, unique. It's, it's yeah, it is. It is a unique experience. Breath of fresh air, like we've been talking. About. And and I I highly enjoy it. And I don't think it's cheap. I think when you know when we it's not like it across, artificial difficult. Yeah, like there is a if you get it, you get it, and you can do it. It's just a matter of your eyes bleeding and your thumbs uh, <laughs> rolling down to, to nubs. Yeah. It, and who you're going to mass murder you, if you don't? And if yeah. you pass it, you don't go back and try to play it again. Oh, that's not because you might screw yourself no, over again. No, no, no. Unfortunately, you have to for some of them. What? Yeah. So it's it is a fun game, but a game that I would probably never buy for myself. <laughs> but I do want to play with friends. Like I will play it with friends. I will play it with lots of alcohol and friends. But yay, yay! <laughs> so, Ransom, do you have any other games? Uh, as Porn far hub. as like best for right now. Best. Okay. Um, Pornhub, the video game. I mean, we have a lot, and I know we'll probably end up... Yeah, I have, like, uh, Farpoint and Star Trek Bridge Crew, you know. A lot of VR. That, lot of that VR. was that was the big thing this year is <sighs> VR... I don't think it's quite there. Like, we're not quite there as far as, like... It's I'm pretty talking, damn close. It's pretty damn close. And for some games, like, it's some games are definitely the there, game. but yeah. I'd say more than not, like, it's almost there. It's almost there, like... 
like we're getting to the cusp, but it's not just oh. that. It's it's the adoption rate of VR, like yeah. like the mass consumer part. Like we're definitely not quite there yet, oh but we're gosh. getting there. We're getting. I don't there. know. I think we're almost there with that because it the can Sony... be more polished. Yeah, uh, no, definitely. I, well, I think I think you're still dealing with a little bit of of uh, resolution and all that kind well, of stuff. That, like, mm-hmm. You know what VR game I want? Hmm. Oh, fucking How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I want to go into people's houses and steal their <laughs> shit. If little Cindy Lou who comes down the stairs, I fucking drop kick her in the fucking face. That's <laughs> really random. <God>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about that. I was like, what game would I like to see be VR? Actually, <laughs> I could see that. Like, in your heart, you look down, well, you can actually see it grow three sizes. The only reason yeah. I say yeah. that is because I remember when we played the VR, there was the monster game that we played, and... It was the high pitched squeak and whatnot, and a bunch of the stuff that you could do. It may, it, I don't know why it was random as fuck thought, but that's what I wanted. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. V, v, VR mm-hmm. is is there though? It, like you said, it's right there. It's right at the cusp, and I think that is one of the biggest things of of 2017 was you saw VR starting to pop up in, in the game of the years, and mm-hmm. you know you started seeing more of that. I, like I said, I, we're not quite there. But we're really close. We're really close. So, guys, unfortunately, not all games were great in 2017. Yep. Um, That's the truth. So what was some of your least favorite games of 2017? Oh, man. Yeah. My least favorite. Well, I mean, I think we can all agree with this one. Uh, Battlefront 2. Yeah. yeah. That was a huge disappointment yeah, unfortunately, in some matters. Unfortunately. Majority. Um, Okay, the, the campaign. I, I enjoyed the campaign. I did too. Uh, I it, yes, it was kind of short, but there was a campaign in Star Wars, and it felt like it fit into the Star Wars universe. The problem comes from, and it's not just like okay, they've gotten rid of where you could buy the loot boxes. That's fine. It's all well and done. But, but the, the damage was done. The damage was done, and the game is built around that structure. It's built around a very broken structure of, of leveling up your character. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it takes the joy of building your character. That you're, you basically, in multiplayer games, you want to have characters that you can go out on the battlefield and basically go, ha ha, look at me. You don't get that feeling with Battlefront. You just, you just kind of get... You know, you feel like that, like a sixteen-year-old kid getting thrown out onto the battlefield, and you're just not sure what you're gonna get. Like, right. yeah. And I mean, am I wrong? No, I was gonna say outside of the campaign, I think the only positive was the, their space battles. Oh, space battles! No, amazing. no, they yeah. upped the ante from the original. Like, their no, 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 no. Oh, space battle, space battles was were, were a lot of fun. They they. They felt great. That they felt the, like I was legitly there. That least. was the only point in the game that I didn't feel the the infrastructure of the loot system broke yes. that mechanic. It did not break the, it the space It didn't matter. Because much. it didn't matter because you want to fly everything. Everything was kind of fun to fly. The problem is when you get on the, you know, boots the on the ground fighting the combat. The battlefront. The actual battlefront, it wasn't fun. Yeah. It, it just. It, it also just kind of seemed like a watered down battlefield. Game. I wish it were. <laughs> I really wish it were. I wish it was that easy, and I wish it was that. But it did not feel like that. It, even a, even a, even a janky battlefield would have been a lot more fun than this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I just <laughs> I don't feel I have no connection to the characters that I'm playing, and I have you know in multiplayer again like like you play anything multiplayer. Uh, you want to build your character, and I never quite felt like I did with this, yeah. this thing. And if you wanted to be Darth Vader or anything like that, you had to play a shit ton to be able to unlock them. Yeah, and that's it's so just, dumb. That's it's, so dumb. It, it takes the joy from the game. Uh, it just basically sucks it dry like a vampire. They try to do... Well, sorry. Uh, somewhat, but not at the same time, it's not that Mortal Kombat crypt stuff where you yeah. had to unlock little things here and there, but the crypt was a different way because it wasn't a pay-to-win. It wasn't anything like it, that. In in the whole the whole um, loot system is something that we're going to have to talk about in the future and get into a little bit deeper, but the structure over at EA with the loot system is a big issue, mm-hmm. and it will continue to be a big issue 
uh, until they realize the consumers don't want. Man, that. it's like but the thing they, is, there's enough consumers that don't care. Right. It's that they're they not going to hear. Spend yeah. and do it anyway. Like they ran into <clears throat> this problem with their sports games. Well, I don't know if you guys know this. <laughs> the guy who's actually in charge over there, gay. Um, he was the person responsible for creating the whole loot system with FIFA. Oh, wow. And that's what started off the loot boxes. Oh, I know. I, and so, like, that's the yeah. sad part is like, they I bet can't. none of this was DICE's fault. And they're yeah. being totally shit on oh, yeah. for well, like well, see, something that is totally EA's fault. That like EA it, because you can see you can right. see Disney even got upset with EA. Oh, oh yeah. no, they were and, like fucking. I hammered. really like. I really want Disney to just rip the Star Wars franchise from EA and yeah. give it to someone they, else. I think they got fucking damn well close. I I. The sad thing is you can see, yeah, Dice is a great developer. They make some great games. Mm -hmm. They understand multiplayer. They they understand the pacing. They understand maps. Well, yeah. multiplayer, right. Right. And you can see that in the game. But like again, underlying everything, the DNA with that game is fundamentally broken because of the loot system. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, that screwed it up. And it's fine to have a loot system, but it needs to be aesthetics. Well, it's right. It. That is pretty. It, yeah, it is yeah, very beautiful. Only, yeah. It needs to be more of an Overwatch type of thing. It needs to be pure aesthetics for your character. Yeah, like, yeah, definitely. And not and the, oh, I can buy Luke Skywalker. No, oh, no, awesome. no, I'm no killer. No pay to play. I don't agree with that. Yeah. I don't think. I don't think that's good for gaming this overall. Isn't big, is yeah, it? yeah, exactly. And uh, so probably the next big uh, on our list is uh, what. Uh, Mass Effect, Mass Effect. Andromeda. Mass Effect Andromeda, yeah. Okay, so I played pretty much the entire game. Oh, I fucking finished it all. And I didn't. I enjoyed it, I gotta admit, but it It, it was broken. It was so broken. Mm -hmm. And I I was sad to see basically a franchise that I absolutely love. Oh, I love get cast Mass Effect. In, get cast into space pretty much <laughs> by its yeah, company. Get jettisoned out pretty the, much because uh, it's it's the foobar. <laughs> it, it, it's foobar for a while. Like yeah. we're not going to see another Mass Effect probably if in the, five six years if that minimum. Didn't fucking kill it. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. We'll they see. Were, they'll use the franchise for something. Well, also, well, like I, like a I, phone I, game or I something. I feel that Bioware is on its last leg. We'll see. Well, that all depends because they got Anthem at the moment. If oh, Anthem does well, I have this sinking suspicion though that there was this this entire conversation of like Star Wars is tanking. Oh my God, what do we do with Anthem? Because you know that thing was full of freaking loot crates. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no way in hell it wasn't at EA because every <laughs> game at EA has loot crates now. Like My Little Pony Island Adventure, well, if it was the, there, would have uh, loot crates. Here's like, the thing: <laughs> at least Anthem has time. Currently, that's what I'm saying. I have a feeling there was a little bit of oh god, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. So we need to change it now. And I, maybe that's a good At thing. At least they can. No, and like that's the only good thing about Battlefront Two is that it's a cautionary tale. Yeah, there's a cautionary tale, and also we saw this big like blowback from like the consumers being like, "No, this is not the game we want. Well, I, I, We're not going to buy this." They uh, went like yeah. Battlefront went on sale. Stupid. I, oh, yeah. I was at uh, I was at Best Buy and oh, I heard twenty bucks. I heard some uh, uh, this mom talking to her kid. He, he I, I want the Star Wars game. You know, no, that's that gambling game. You can't play it. <laughs> so you know, you, you know, oh, it, got into the, it. it got that's into awesome. the news that it was. Yeah. I, I think it was Hawaii. It, it like actually sued uh, EA or put a put a something like Hawaii. Like, that's interesting uh, for, for that, gambling. It, it, for gambling. Yeah, yeah. So well, each state has their own jurisdiction yeah. Yeah. and their own their own rules. It's, it's internet so. gambling. So, essentially, uh, it's sad though because Mass Effect was so good, and the name it got. I mean, it had it had freaking loot crates, and it it did, but I, it, I it wasn't. See, their thing about it is there wasn't game change worthy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they had some things here and there. Yeah, you could unlock characters and stuff from it, and whatnot. Right, but you didn't have to have it because. Battlefront, you had to unlock heroes and shit like that, right. and or star cards. You didn't well, have star cards in Mass Effect. You just had what, like, 
the way characters look and shit like that. Yeah, and we, there, I, per, I, there are perks. I was well, kind of hoping there would be loot it. crates to like unlock uh, better graphics and uh, better voice uh, lip syncing. But <laughs> uh, better butt jiggle down but, the stairs. Yeah, it's just <laughs> the like, <excess> eyes. <laughs> I fucking remember that video. <laughs> but it, it's, so it's just, unfortunately, it was an unfortunate thing. And it uh, it's just, EA just needs to get their shit together. Like, I, I, I there's a lot of products with EA. I love Battlefield. Like, you, you, we, we play the hell out of Battlefield. Oh, of course. Yeah. And, and I love the Battlefield series. And I, and I can see promise with EA, but I think it's, they're going to have to go, okay, What's it worth for us to continue this? this yeah, they're gonna have to right. take a long, hard look at like the kind of things that they're and doing. It, and it is, I understand, as a game developer, that it's harder to make these AAA games now. Well, the, the expense is so crazy. It is, but I was but, gonna say, if they continue down their path, they're gonna be in trouble. Well, they'll be making indie games at, the, at some point right. if, they, if they if they don't. <laughs> changed their ways. So they split it, off into a whole bunch of companies. Well, and make indie games. well, they took a bunch of companies, um, and that's some issues too. With with we they lost some great companies things, this yeah. year. Yeah. So what other games? Any other games that were not that great this year? Uh, so I actually really like this game, but the internet community died pretty, or the online community died pretty fast, and that was For Honor. Mm-hmm. It's true, it's and I th- I thought. Now, the single player was kind of, uh, but who cares about that? You know, it was clearly about multiplayer, but it's just, it's so hard to find a match now, which, but it's just so disappointing and sad because, like, the gameplay was so much fun. Like, there's so much skill involved, and, like, when you got a kill against one person, you felt, like, awesome. When you got a kill it. against two different people, mm-hmm. like, you're fending off your sword fighting with two different people, and you fuck them both up. Like, mm-hmm. it's, like, such a fucking amazing it, It's a feeling. rush. It really is, because that game is difficult to grasp. Yeah, it really it, is. It's a unique fighting game, and it is it is fun. So, I mean, unfortunately... Yeah, it was just really sad that the just dropped off. just dropped off. Yeah. And, like, I haven't been on it recently. Maybe it's made a little bit of resurgence. I don't think so. Probably I mean, not. I still have the game. I bought it but that's, virtually. That, that's... that's uh, you got it forever. Yeah, that, forever. That, that's one of those things, though, where... Um, it's one of those games that you play the frick ton out of, probably. Oh, yeah. I played a, a lot of it. I, I know Kyle did, too. Mm-hmm. It's like me and The Division. I played probably 100-plus hours of that game, yeah. and there's no way I'm going back. Like, it's just... Even though it sounds interesting, I, there's no way I'm going back. And, yeah, and yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 it's not, the community's not there, and these games... Yeah. I mean, I look uh, at Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 was an amazing game, but that community is probably is, not that. Yeah, it's yeah. dead. I, I sold that a while ago. But, like, man, I wish the community would make a comeback, because that's a game I would go back to, like, for honor. Like, it's on my top ten games of the year, because, like, I just, I haven't had that much fun with, like, like, I I don't know if y'all ever heard of, like, uh, War of the Roses. Yeah. Well, yeah, War of the Roses, or, like, what's another one, or even uh, Mountain Blade. Like, mm-hmm. it's that type of game and there aren't many of those types of games that come out and there's definitely like mountain blades combat is cool but it's not as in depth as like what for honor is right right or anything so it's just i love the game but it's just really sad that i can't really play it now you know not easily at least so i think that's going to end our games section unless you have anything else you want to interject i mean there's good i know there's a lot we've missed but uh, the only I'm just gonna have these as mentions, but okay. uh, Divinity Original Sin Two. What you liked? I liked, okay. but it was a disappointment because they not that big of one, but the combat in Divinity Original Sin is all or in the first one was already really hard, mm-hmm. and they added magical armor and uh like armor like physical armor right but it would after each battle it would recharge so it was kind of like almost like a halo shield or something right right Mm -hmm. but like certain attacks would take away from magical armor and certain attacks would take away from physical armor but they're 
like some magical attacks would take away from physical armor and some magical attacks would take oh, wow. away from physical and but right. all physical attacks took away from your physical armor right. but you had to like get through those two health bars before you could actually start whittling down your enemy's actual health mm. wow. and your enemies have like things that they can regenerate those physical or magical armors. So it just cre- made combat kind of a slog mm-hmm. to get through. And I get why they did it, but because there it, it has an adversarial mode now and they needed to make it balanced. Mm-hmm. You know, and because so in it, the first game, there was no adversarial. It was like you played co-op with your friends. Mm-hmm. But since there is an adversarial in the, the second game, like, they needed to make magic more balanced and right. buff physical attacks. Wait, did you have something like Kyle? Oh, it, later. Okay. Um, uh, before I forget, there, were, there was actually two games I completely forgot off my favorites this year. Very quick, very quick. Uh, uh, Rabbids. Uh, the Mario. Mario and Rabbids. That one, that yeah, one is yeah, really yeah. good. It was really good. Mario Odyssey, Odyssey as well, so... Mario Odyssey was really good. That like for Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah, my yeah. personal opinion, if we're going to talk about a console, I think the Switch won for 2017. All right, yeah. Oh, we're, yeah. we're talking yeah. about game content that like blew people out of the oh, water. Yeah, I think it's oh, and then like what's the now. what's the new Switch stuff that's coming out? The Oh, Lobo. La- Labo. 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 I want I, you know what? At- hey, well, I wasn't going to discuss this, but I'm going to discuss it because it's, it's news. Fresh. Okay. Yeah. So the interwebs, the nice interwebs, the the Twitterverse, <laughs> all that kind of stuff, kind of blew up when they when they when they released that, and I a think lot it's of fucking genius. I think it's amazing, it's but genius, I yeah, think I think it's it's people are making memes well, it's it. it's that thing of one. Yes, it's funny, like card, <laughs> cardboard sniper rifles and all that stuff is freaking hilarious. I, don't, I haven't actually heard of this, <laughs> but okay, Labo is this thing that's coming out Nintendo has for the Switch that in case this is for other people too. Is this through uh, direct. No, no. Well, yeah, this was through one of the well, last yeah, directs. Direct. Uh, they, it's it's basically cardboard. Not basically, it is. Peripherals. It's cardboard peripherals for the for Switch the Switch, games. and so for like sixty bucks, you get like five A of these different things, these and like extendable, peripherals. and they're really well made. But they you put them together, really well made. Uh, but it uses like rubber bands and like. Different things like yeah, that. so there's like a fishing line, and it all comes with software. Each thing comes with software, and so there's These there's like physical items, yeah, yeah physical, physical items. items. Yeah, so the game so no, no, so you you have peripheral stuff like like you can go fishing. You build the fishing rod out of cardboard and stuff. They come it comes with the stuff. With the there's one that turns your your switch controllers into like a robot, and it vibrates. And then there's another one where you build a fully functioning like well to the point piano. Yeah, like yeah. And you, you fit your switch system. into it, and there's but the coolest one, and it's seventy bucks by itself, is a robot suit that has a backpack, a giant pulley system, mm-hmm. these things that strap to your to your legs, your, like your your ankles and your wrists, and you've got like a, not a helmet, but like uh, glasses, goggles, or goggles yeah. type thing, and you, you move around punching and. No, no, well, you, that was that was a that was a meme. That was a meme. That was a joke. That somebody made a joke of that. It's like, well, the new uh, game looks crazy. But okay, yeah. but you <laughs> you 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 basically play like a and a giant robot. robot. Yeah, and so. But since you have this pulley system, you can control the arms and everything. And so I think it. I think it's pretty pretty cool, and the stuff they could do with it. They were showing like a camera stuff. All this. Like Pokemon Snap, but that would be amazing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they were they were showing. There's also like a gun attachment. Yeah, there's something. some all these things that are coming, and there's like extra stuff you could buy, like tapes and stickers and mm-hmm. colors. They're like yeah. five bucks. Um, I think it's genius. I think it's really cool. I think cool. it's really awesome. I, it's but, a unique idea. And, and the thing is, and it's also just, it comes completely out of left field, which is what exactly. Nintendo always, always does. does. And and it, but the people on on the on the, on the internets <laughs> were very very uh, very very. Oh, they were horrible. <laughs> and they were, it, it was it was just like you know, not every game is for you. Not every yeah. game is for yeah. everyone. And you know what? This is really for kids. 
That that is mostly for kids. Even yeah. I'm sure shit want the freaking. I mean, fuck, I'm gonna yeah. buy it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm but I'm well, saying is, but that would be really fun for families too. Like no, you sit around like, and build a little piano and all that kind of stuff. It's cool. That's why I said what I did with the Switch winning. I mean, yeah, PlayStation. Like I think one in my okay. It, okay, had some Nintendo of the best and PlayStation. I think had the best exclusives by right. far. Yeah. Oh, oh, Microsoft oh, didn't come close. Down. Well, Microsoft didn't come close. When did close Microsoft even have this exactly? Year, so. Um, but they had like ninety exclusives. Oh, you're talking about the freaking exclusive. Yeah, well, exclusive. But a lot of them didn't even come out this year. But <laughs> the thing about it is, fucking okay. Again, where it came back, you had the best launch title in Zelda. Uh-huh. Like by all means, that game is just fantastic. Super Mario Odyssey, fucking. Relives that sixty four feel. Yeah, yeah. That Mario Rabbids was different. Mario Rabbids, which was that tactical game, that's really good. They did really well with the tactical and base. They, and, and you got stuff like Snipper Clips was Snipper fucking. Snipper Clips was awesome. Yeah. 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 Shit. People yeah. give also one two switch like bullshit, but, but I really fun. like it, that it's, game. It's not like the best thing ever as a launch, but it is entertaining. It is. It is and it's fun, so it's fun to play game. with friends. It's a good party game. Yeah. Um, Mario Kart's still good. My yeah. only downside is the controller with my fingers yeah. in my hands. That's yeah. it. Or that uh, another. They did a re-release, but like I was pretty butthurt about the amount of content. Like they didn't make any new content. They made a new battle they, they, mode. They, but they that made was about the new all. battle mode. It was they had the new battle oh, map, right. and they added this uh, fucking uh, For what game? Mario Kart. Ah. Splatoon. Yeah, but like, the Splatoon. Yeah, Splatoon was good, cool. too. Splatoon 2 was good. But, yeah. like, I wish, back to Mario Kart, I wish they gave me, well, like, another circuit. Or at least another level. I understand your thought on that. Yes, yeah. yeah, so I get that. Like, the Splatoon, like, circuit, if you're going to yeah, have those exactly. characters. Um, and, and you got to realize, too, I mean, yeah, we got we got uh, Skyrim, we got Doom. We Skyrim got actually did pretty decent. Skyrim did decent. Uh, I mean, yeah. we got, we Doom some, did decent. I understand these are... Re-releases, older games, but yeah. still, it's still cool that if, they are coming out. If on and they're mobile, if and they're, they're mobile, exactly. Yeah. And if this high, and the fact that they're showing that this hybrid console doesn't have to look like the PlayStation or Xbox, right. and it is still tearing it. Like it got the most sales of this year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like it yeah. blew out of the water, and it makes sense. It is literally a home and on the I, go. I, console. I, I it always, is a hybrid. I always say that. A, before you buy a console, I mean, we're different because of what we do. But if you're an average consumer, if you're going to buy a console, you need at least five exclusive games to me before you go, okay, I want this thing. Right. At least yeah. five games, and then at least five games you are anticipating that you want. Yeah. Right. See, and that's easy. You could do that in, like, in a nanosecond with a Switch. Yeah. And see, yeah. that's where I think, like, I understand people like Xbox 360 took off. Like that was the main of that generation. Of course, yeah. PS3 caught up when their PS3 prices did really well, when though. their prices went down. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, the Wii was revolutionized for Nintendo at that point because it was all different. The first two years, no one could keep up with that just because yeah. how cheap it was and it was meant for children. Versus the well, other also two the Wii weren't. Sports and Wii Fit, all well, that that's stuff. Well, that's true. Yeah. That's we, 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 uh, the, actually, actually, the the biggest issue with the original Wii, the one of the biggest problems they had, was they could sell the Wiis like no tomorrow. But the problem is, people were just happy with Wii Bowling. Wii. Yeah. yeah, and they weren't buying other and software. Other things, yeah. 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 So Nintendo has shown that they're really good about, and this goes for the DS as well. They're good. They. You're not afraid to branch mm-hmm. yeah. versus the Xbox right. and the PlayStation stayed the same pretty much. Except yeah, which exactly. has, has it, bit Nintendo in the ass too. It like, has, yeah. it yeah. has, but like the, but the Wii U was a huge. No, it the did, ass. and that's you're but you're absolutely from it. you're absolutely correct. But look what they have now. now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it was it's so clear that the Wii U was like them feeling out things for the Switch. Well, it's true. Well, it's- Miyamoto way back said he was wanted a portable. But basically, he said yeah. he wanted the, like, what the Switch became as, a long yeah, time ago. As much problems as it has. I, I don't think Nintendo has truly had problems with their software. Right. I think they've had more... Or, excuse me, their hardware. I think they've had more mm-hmm. problems, you know... Well, the online... The yeah. online, okay. The online, online not exists. Their online does suck, but to be fair, some of the games that they've been making 
don't have to rely on. I don't know, um, and that that is a as somebody though that is a social gamer, that is something that's today's a little, right. day and yeah, age yeah, is yeah. multiplayer based, yeah, without exactly. a doubt. But I will give Nintendo. You can't get that type of Zelda feel on the PlayStation or yeah. Whatever. No, I mean, no, no, you no, can no, get no. games like the Horizon right. yeah, and whatnot, yeah, yeah, yeah. but they're going to be totally different. Yeah, yeah. but. You don't get Mario Kart, that's for sure. Sure, you get your mainstream Need for Speed and all that shit. Uh, Which I hate well, kind of it's 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 a good system, and I'm I'm really happy that Nintendo has, has got stepped up. And I, I have to say, it is probably the winner of the year. Oh, of every year. I think I Nintendo came out winning. PlayStation's behind it. I barely. I mean, I'm sad to say, I like my Xbox. But I, I played my Switch and yeah. my Xbox more, or my PlayStation more than my Xbox. Same. Oh yeah, my my Xbox pretty much is. It's pretty much become, and that's something that I I do love. This year we did get an Xbox Originals on the Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Well, yes, um, and I'm happy. To and and it's play. also play Knights and you know Psychonauts mm-hmm. and all that kind of stuff on it. Um, but I need I they do, need there better be exclusives this year. I'm they really hoping yeah, yeah, bigger yeah. stuff that um, exclusive sell. Yeah, like that's like. And don't to get me wrong, me, I have nothing against the Xbox. I've, I've got I've nothing told you, against my I've told you well. guys, I've told you guys a million times, I don't care if it's on the back of a toilet seat. I'm in it for the games. I'm not <laughs> the loyalty is not to the companies, it's yeah. to the games. Yeah, and, right. and see I've got no problem with Microsoft. But when PlayStation's putting out stuff like The Last of Us, God of War, which is my favorite series, I like the mythology, even though yeah. like nothing's hundred percent correct. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> um <laughs> Fucking. That's gonna be that's gonna be on the box quote. I give it <laughs> nothing's correct. Who gives a fuck? Nothing's completely correct. Horizon Father Gamer. Horizon 10.10. Zero Dawn. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, their exclusives that they just been. I mean, they're about to have Days Gone, of course, which is like another yeah, Last of Us Days type. Gone. But that game looks fucking sick right off the bat. Oh, is Days Gone? Spider Man. Spider Man's coming. Spider Man's gonna be a is that the zombie game? Days yeah. Gone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's I the think, motorcycle oh, zombie game. Yeah, yeah, yeah the I've motorcycle been, club dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've um, been wanting that. The mm-hmm. Spider Man Insomniac is yeah. only on fucking PlayStation. The remake of Ratchet and Clank is only on PlayStation, and that thing was fun as shit. Of course, yeah. you got Crash Bandicoot too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like they so, can make remakes just like Bethesda can, and just launch so them. So what we're system. hoping for, and as we transition into the last of this. Uh, not the Last of Us, but the Last of Us uh, is, uh, you know, we're hoping that that Xbox shows us more exclusive this year, uh, and, and shows like they are really, really uh, have become a a good platform for indie. I mean, as far as like they're, put, they're no, pulling their in the indies, indies are really, fantastic. Really, Speaking but of that so is Nintendo. This is actually all of them pretty much. Yeah, are pretty great. Platforms. As as again, I hate to say, it, as a developer, as somebody who's developing a game, it is kind of funny. To see the courting, though, now of the three companies, like, mm-hmm. you, well, there's more than that. There's PC and whatnot, but you yeah. do get a courting from the consoles a little bit. Mm-hmm. And if they get a smell that oh, this game might be kind of good, yeah, they will court you a little bit. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it is funny to see friends in, in the in, in the industry just like, hey, Erica, how yeah, are you doing? yeah. Well, like, like, we can, one can only hope whenever <laughs> we start showing more stuff, but it. You do see that they do realize that indie is is kind of like the fill. The, well, they, this is the problem: is that they kind of think it was the filler for like the, the coding, the 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 AAA coding on the outside. Right. Yeah, but it's starting for a certain demographic of gamers. It's that's, becoming a mainstream. It's becoming well. Yeah. You've also seen because it, also that's where you get probably some of your. I don't want to say greatest, but a lot of innovation. Right. A lot of people are taking risks well, you'll instead see, of yeah, with going with what the industry thing. says will work. Well, you you're know? also seeing something a little different, and this goes back to what we talked about with the loot, the loot crate, and in the loot gaming, and and you know, it being so expensive to make AAA games, mm-hmm. you're starting to see this new group of what they call triple eyes. Like they're they're mm-hmm. they're not. Triple A, but they're like high end independent. Yeah, games, exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. And and I think that's where you're gonna see a lot of crazy, amazing stuff, but it's well polished mm-hmm. from those groups. And I mean, you think about it, stuff like Minecraft and 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 whatnot. Those were independent games. Was Grow Home? Independent? Yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah Grow Home yeah. is well, kind of. Yeah, but it was, it, it, was it was Ubisoft. Developed it, but yeah, I think or published it. Published I don't know if they, it, yeah. know if they developed it. They published it. They didn't develop it. But you're starting to see a lot more of that. So, so everybody listening, let us know. 
What was your favorite games of 2017? Uh, what was your least favorite games of 2017? What did we forget? Because I'm sure we forgot everything. And, uh, uh, you know, let us know. Uh, another thing, though, I'd like to talk about just short, right for, just shortly for a second before we go. Favorite movies. 2017. Oh, Blade Runner 2049. Okay. Hands down. Kyle? Oh, fuck me. Uh, I don't want to know okay. about that. We're not going to uh, do that. The, the it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's really good time if you, if you haven't tried it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on how drunk you get me next time. Uh, <laughs> Thor Ragnarok. Thor was really fun. I, I You know yeah. what? For a movie series that I was like, okay, the first one to me was okay. Then the second one's like, okay, it's a little bit better in my opinion. The third one fucking just... I, w- I will right tell you guys back. listening out there, you're not going to probably get Dunkirk from us. Like, we're, we're, we're the... I mean, we like those movies. We're no, Dunkirk people, was good. Nerdy. But we're more of the comic book and sci-fi like, kind. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I did like Dunkirk. I really enjoyed watching it. I was just like, it's a little slower pace. Yeah, and I probably would like a it. Christopher I, I like... Nolan style movie. Yeah. Um... Uh, I, okay, well, the the, the disaster artist. Well, I didn't see that yet. It was it was really good. Like <laughs> that's because oh, I, I, there's a yeah. good reason for that. Well, though. that's because of just the movie itself. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, Based yeah. on the, it's a yeah. cult classic. Yeah, at this point. And, and we actually talked about that. We 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 completely went through it in an, an older recording that will actually be coming out later on. Um, but it, it was such a good. It was such a okay. Wasn't the best movie of all time, but I enjoyed it quite a bit. It was See, very enjoyable. It was very That's enjoyable. That's why, like, I picked Thor Ragnarok because I felt so in tune, like, with the music, and they did. I felt like immersed with like the rock. And, oh, like, at the, points, it did felt like it did feel like a, a music video. Like it, it did, was, and it, it was it, awesome. It was pretty much, like, it was awesome. <laughs> it, it was just an awesome movie. Hey, Mike, do you have? Um. The Last Jedi and also Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Yeah, yeah. Just, just Blade Runner was so good. Yeah, yeah. This year, uh, I, I, you are starting to see a lot. That was part of my. That's the thing I did like about twenty seventeen. You started seeing more sci fi start to kind of. I mean, you got more Star Trek back on TV. Yeah, you, you got the. Uh, you you got that show by the Family Guy. Oh God, what's it called? Uh, and I really liked it. I can't think of it. The. But, um... The um, the Orville. Yeah, you yes. got Orville. Uh, you, you started seeing more stuff on TV like that. Kaijus are coming back. Kaijus are coming back. <laughs> uh, you had Godzilla. You had King Kong this King year. King Kong was fucking awesome. I like King Kong. You got, uh, you, you know, on TV, you even got like... The damn Netflix. Well, you have series. another freaking uh, Black Mirror series, and then you got that Philip mm-hmm. K. Dick series over on Amazon. So you're starting to get a lot of that Great, like fun, trippy. Blade Runner was back. Like Star oh. Wars, it was it was a great year for that. I also am an avid person of. I really enjoyed it. It yeah. it was, was one of the better remakes I've seen. In a while. I, Thank you for reminding me. About I that. actually really enjoyed it and uh, was surprised. It was basically like a scary Goonies. It right. was. It, I had a good yeah. feel. Had some creepy moments. I wasn't like terrified. I. But at no, the same no, time, I was like, I, I relived the childhood of watching the movie. wasn't scared of the original either. Okay. But I was like, for a remake, that's it a really good remake. Did pretty damn good. Yeah. So, so guys, thank you for listening. Uh, again, let us know everything that you liked in 2017, what you didn't like. Uh, you can catch us on the socials. Uh, I'm at Twitter at Father Gamer. Instagram at Father Gamer, uh, Mike at Silverhawks No Vowels at Twitter and on Instagram Ransom. I'm uh, not a hot dog man. <laughs> Don't on, on, on Twitter, just Twitter. Twitter, it, yeah. Is it Insta- Instagram? I don't remember. I don't remember mine. I am on Instagram. Yeah, it yeah. is. I think it's, it's not, not a, hot a hot dog man. And, oh, okay. Yeah, and Kyle is Metal X Twenty Five. Also, you can check us out. On YouTube now, we're starting mm-hmm. to post. Yeah. We've been playing a crap ton of GTA Online <laughs> and basically being chaos demons in, in that world. And there's well, some our our, stuff. Uh, our clan is the Chaos Club. It so. is. It <laughs> is. Uh, so you you can find our uh, all of our YouTube stuff on Father Gamer Podcast now. Just Father Gamer Podcast. Yeah. yeah. Cool. We're a league of Just extraordinary. Do a search what in the YouTube. Yeah, Father we are Gamer a league Podcast. of extraordinary. What the fuck? Like, yeah. <laughs> like. 
I mean, sometimes we are just, I feel like a badass when we're just playing around. And And other times we are just fucking up right after. (laughs) So, yeah. So check us out there. We're actually going to be start streaming uh, pretty soon, too. We'll put all that up. And uh, and thank you guys for sticking with us. It's it's been a long uh, road to get here now. And uh, we're back. We'll be putting out new episodes. So, guys, thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And as always, have a nice day. Oh, <laughs> achieve greatness. <laughs>